Jacob Rees-Mogg said Parliament is doing its correct duty in debating the decision to take military action in Syria following a chemical weapons attack that killed dozens of people during an emergency debate in the Commons. On Tuesday, Mr. Rees-Mogg said, these constitutional issues are not new. Indeed, it is at the heart of the glorious revolution and one of the clauses of the Bill of Rights, which is still our law is that the raising a keeping of standing army within the kingdom in time of peace and let it be with the consent of parliament is against the law. The Labour leader claimed a War Powers Act could specify at what point in the decision-making processes MPs should be involved, as well as retaining the right for ministers to act in emergencies or for the country's self-defence. Parliament TV Jacob Rees-Mogg hit out at Mr. Corbyn's call for parliamentary approval to military action overseas the job is to hold the executive to account, not to try and run the executive by remote control Jacob Rees-Mogg but Mr. Rees-Mogg pointed out that every five years an armed forces bill is passed to ensure that armed forces available to the Prime Minister are approved by Parliament. He hit out at the Labour leader's proposed act and said, this last happened in 2016 when the Armed Services Act was renewed. On that occasion, it passed its second reading without a division. It passed its third reading without a division. There was uninformed consent within this House that the armed services should exist on a similar basis to that under which they have existed since 1689. The leader of the opposition did not choose to put down an amendment to put down any limits on how the armed services could operate. He did not choose to put down an amendment to say that the government could not act without the specific consent of Parliament on every occasion, Mr. Rees-Mogg said the bill was passed and recognised the proper constitutional settlement and the separation of powers. The prominent Tory backbencher then ripped into SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford who called for parliamentary approval before military action overseas. Mr. Rees-Mogg was greeted with cheers after he said, I think he made an error in his speech when he thought that this House ought to give his pre-approval because the job of this House is to hold the executive to account, not to try and run the executive by remote control. Jeremy Corbyn hit back at the comments made by Mr. Rees-Mogg. He said, I was very impressed by the contribution by the member for North East Somerset who took us back to 1688 and he's right about the Bill of Rights but I just gently say to him, I think democracy can go forward even from 1688 to a slightly more modern time.